So this humongous quilt is basted and ready for quilting. And if any of you have actually put together the layers of a sandwich, you know what kind of swearing and struggling went on. But now that it's ready to go, I'm gonna give you some specific tips on how to quilt those large quilts on your sewing machine. I know it can be a bit of a pain, but the gal I'm giving this quilt to is so worth the effort. The first and most important tip to remember is that even though this quilt is really large, I'm only focusing on a small area at one time. So instead of looking at the whole thing, I'm just gonna work in this area and work on the next area until the whole thing is done. In the block, I'm gonna quilt a feather that starts from the corner, and I'm gonna quilt a nice elongated swirl that lands somewhat close to the center of the square. That's gonna act as the spine of my feather because I'm gonna start working my way back around that swirl quilting petal shapes. And these are kind of half heart shapes they're gonna swing out, come close to the edge of the area, and then come back in to the spine. I'm gonna keep quilting those half heart shapes until I make my way along the whole spine returning to my starting point. This design is perfect for tip number two of quilting large quilts on your machine. I wanna pick designs that will fit within the area of my machine. I don't wanna try wrestling the quilt for really long fluid designs. I'm gonna think of it as chunks and quilt to this area and then move on. Whether that's a feather design or an all over design, as long as it fits within the area, it makes it a lot easier to manage. Now I'm gonna start quilting some wavy lines in the background of this area, just to give it a fun look. Starting from one edge, I'm gonna quilt a wavy line to the center block, then travel and quilt another line back to the edge. It's this travel line that makes these wavy lines look as though they're going behind the blocks. Now, as I'm quilting the wavy lines, I'm making it more of a gentle wave. It doesn't have to be extremely wavy. I just want a little bit of a texture. As I start to progress past the center block, the line will get a little bit larger as I go from the edge all the way to the edge. Again, traveling once I get to that point and then echoing my way back. What's nice about quilting wavy lines is I don't have to stress about making it perfectly straight. A nice gentle wave will do the trick. So even though that traveling is making the wavy lines look like it's going behind the block, what it's really doing is giving me a great transition point so that I don't have to keep going over the whole quilt. Now another thing to remember when you're quilting those large quilts on your sewing machine is that gravity is your enemy. We don't want any part of the quilt hanging down because you're not only fighting the quilt, but you're also fighting gravity. So reposition that quilt often, throw it up over your shoulder if you need to, whatever it takes to get that quilt finished, which is what I'm gonna spend the next few hours doing because this special gal is gonna love this quilt once it's done, or at least she better.